as a former Salvation Army volunteer for many, many years and a food client. In 2016, there's some unusual changes. First of all, the Salvation Army is supposed to be independently run. One man started it. It's independent. They pay their own employees out of the funds. They pay their own utilities housing, so on and so forth. But now, in 2016, it is funded by the state and federal USDA food sources. Now, why would the Salvation Army they make a lot of money. How they operate it, I don't can give you the details on that. But they don't need the state and federal involved. Well, I went the other day and was throwed some new forms. You used to go, put your name and how many people on a sheet and that was it now this form the emergency food assistant program and commodity supplement food program written notice of beneficiary rights because the program is supported in whole or in part is financial assistance from the federal government. We are required to let you know that. We may not discriminate against you based on religious or religious beliefs, etc., etc. It's just too much to read. But when I asked the lady, well, what religion is this supposed to be? She said, Christian. I said, well, why isn't it written on here? It's not written on here. It doesn't specify Christian. Now, it's my understanding that religion and state are having issues. She told me that people were suing them. I don't know how you can sue somebody for giving you food. That don't make no sense. It's probably a lie to get you to sign this. This next page, if you want to be referred to another provider, and I'll let you read all that yourself. Now this is what type of assistance. Now, I, I would understand <laughs> filling this out if you needed your lights paid or your rent paid. But for a few groceries, I don't understand it. But this is what you have to fill out now, or at least I did. Every time you go. I didn't put my date of birth. Nobody has a right to ask for your social. They didn't. Some places do. Don't give it to them. And whether I'm divorced or widowed or whatever, that's nobody's business. My previous address is nobody's business. It has nothing to do with me needing food right now. Now they want to know your expenses. Well, first they want to know your income. Much of mine is zero. And then your expenses. Life insurance, gasoline, health insurance, medical prescriptions. 
Yeah. Mine was zero or NA. It should have been NB is none of your business, but I put NA. Now this one I had difficulty with. I so and so participate in the financial assistance program. Okay. I hereby authorize the director or other employee to disclose any to any agency, church, or organization my participation. Yada yada yada. Information regarding my general condition. It's nobody's business if I need food. They don't care anyway. They just want to lock you up and say that you're incompetent. It's nobody's business about my physical well-being. As long as I'm not a threat to myself or others, and I'm not, it's nobody's business. Okay? Details with respect to services needed, services given, and evaluation of my situation. I don't need somebody evaluating my situation. I'm fully aware of my situation. And D is just open for to put anything on there they want to. Yeah. Okay. The purpose is to secure additional funding and complete client's request and there's a whole lot of lines there left or put anything else they want to on there. I'm a very aware person and when I go to a food bank or go buy a food bank, I take a look see. And I'm looking to see that it's mostly white people going to food banks. No, I'm not kidding. I am serious. Wonder why that is. Now down here at the bottom, signature a parent and guardian or legal representative required for a minor and competent or deceased participant. Well, if the participant's deceased, they don't need assistance, do they? Do you see that? Right here. Deceased participant. Are you kidding me? That's the bottom approved by National Legal Council. Okay. Salvation Army policy and guidelines on confidentiality and the protection of personal privacy. Well, it just said up here, director or other employees. Well, they have volunteers there too. And here's a real good close-up of that. Freeze frame to read it yourself. Now, this is the Ten Commandments on my wall that was there when I moved in. It's on the outside, the doorpost, per se, as stated in the Holy Bible. Now, Separation of state and religion is very real. The state and the federal are annihilating religion. They want their religion. No, I'm not joking. I didn't get this from the news or CNN or ABC or none of that. I know. Now, Hope to All Food Bank is also federally funded. So, they were independent and they had a store until the government got on them. They wanted taxes. So then they had to become federally funded. And do you see the bully tactic here? If you don't, your Medicaid is stupid. They had to close down the store because the government wanted taxes 
and it was a non-profit organization. They sold stuff to buy food. So now they have to get their food from the federal government, which requires information. Do you understand the link here? Now, I don't know how or why Salvation Army was bullied. I'm sure they were. That's my personal opinion. To come up with all these new, new paperwork. But you need to know. And these are the facts. Yeah. In Madisonville, the Salvation Army is doing the most good out of all the agencies here. And that's just a fact. And they should be a big enough organization not to let the government bully them. They should. I'm just an old lady. Peace.